What's going on you guys? Kevin here from the Humble Garage and as you see we are not in the garage. We are on my bed here with my laptop and going to go into my emails here. <clears throat> Had a little bit of email correspondence with Map Performance. That is who I ordered my Cobb access port through. The reason I ordered it through them is it's the exact same price as getting it through Cobb and you actually get a stage one off the shelf map from, from Map Performance or MA Performance. And in order to get it, you don't just have it loaded on the Cobb access port. I reached out to him and emailed him and was like, hey, you know, what do I have to do to get the the map? Because it's not uploaded on the Cobb access port from stock. And they basically told me, I was trying to find the email here, that you need to fill out a little questionnaire survey. It's like 11 questions. You fill it out on their website with like what vehicle you have, what mods you have, um, what octane fuel you use. Um, the serial number from your Cobb, so you're going to need to have your box to get that serial number, so to make sure you don't throw it out, and just a couple of questions, and then it takes about 24 hours, and they um, email you saying, hey, your map is here, this is how you do it, this is how you upload it into your, um, your access port, and it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. You plug your access port into your Mac or PC with this included dongle. It's obviously just a little micro USB port to USB um, 2 or 3.0, one of those. Plug it into your laptop and then you take the file that they gave you, which is like some weird format. It's like .pvt or something of the sort. And it allows you to upload that into the application on your computer, which in turn uploads it to your access board. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so here's our actual email correspondence. You got Adam Nujar at, um, over there at Map Performance. And he basically just says, hey, you know, I need a couple items and we'll get your tune out to you in about 24 hours. Sure enough, they did. Um, you know, here's all the answers to the shit that, you know, I gave him or whatever. And then you get this file over here, which is 33 kilobytes, so a very small file. So just basically just different engine parameters and whatnot. Um, and it's pretty much unusable until you upload it into the flash port, or the flash port, the um, access port. So it's a .ptm file. I'm just gonna go ahead and save it to my desktop. Save as. Let's go with the desktop. Bam. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and install the Cobb access port um, application. There's also instructions right here if you need to know exactly how to do it step by step. So that's very helpful. Finish downloading, of course. All right, cool. So to plug in your access port, you obviously can't use this bottom plug here. That is, you know, too large. On the side there though, the left side there is a micro USB port that you can plug into. And then of course, just plug the other side into your laptop. And the access port manager, which is the name of the application, should recognize your device and power it on, in essence. All right, access port. Yep. Yep. Loading access port information. Yes, you are. All right, all the uh, maps I have on there. These are all the these are all the stock Cobb maps on here. <clears throat> it's valet mode, limits your speed to like 25 miles an hour, so your valet is not doing donuts and shit. Then you've got stage uh, zero, which is simulated stock. Stage one, which is basically how the car should have came with no mods um, for for 91 and 93 oc. Then you got stage two for 91 and 93 octane. And then your stage three, which um, I'm not sure what the difference is between stage three and the IS-38, because that's usually what stage three is, an IS-38 swap. So anyway, I'm uh, going to go ahead and upload the new uh, file into there, which there's a little icon that says import files to access port. Click on that. Uh, mine was saved on the desktop, so we go and go there. Double click. Are you sure you want to copy this file to the access port? Yes. Bam. It is now uploaded in there. 2017 GTI, map off the shelf, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go in the garage and upload this. But make sure you properly eject your access port with this little eject logo here. And yeah, that way you just, 
just avoid any potential damage that you could cause to your access port. I mean, it's a basically like a $700 tablet. Um, you don't want to damage it. Ugh, God. All right, to the garage, boys. All right, so as you see, I got my battery tender hicked up here. As you see, the red LED is illuminated, which means it is charging. Um, this is just a little safety feature that I like to do, a little precaution to make sure um, that my vehicle doesn't lose power while I'm flashing a new tune, because that would be bad. That would basically brick your vehicle. And there are ways to recover it. You can basically get the battery charged back up and then replug your access port in and hope that it will start back up but um, I'd rather just avoid that whole situation in general. So come around here and you boys can watch what daddy's doing. Ugh, sorry, it's a little messy in here at the moment. All right, so it would probably help if I had my keys. All right, so what you're gonna do is turn your ignition on, but don't turn the vehicle on, so. Oh, so many noises. All right, so this should recognize the vehicle's on. It's also gonna turn off your headlights and your um, air conditioning so it doesn't drain as much battery. It won't matter too much because I'm hooked up to a battery tender, but if you don't have a battery tender, I would highly recommend turning off all unnecessary lights um, and your HVAC system, your air conditioning, all that good shit. So, all right. So the tune that is currently flashed to the access port, here, let me kind of like lower you guys down a little bit. Perfecto. All right, so take it off my little mount here. So the current tune that is uploaded at the moment is the um, 93 octane stage one Cobb off the shelf map, but we are going to change map and we are going to select bam that first one there which is the map performance off the shelf or ots stage one it says plug into a charger i already am continue Please wait while the access port generates vehicle data. Yep, it's basically reading the tune that's on there, making a backup of it in case your car does brick out, you can restore it. And then once it has generated the vehicle data, it's gonna go ahead and start flashing that tune, which will take anywhere between five to 30 minutes, depending on how many parameters it needs to change for that tune. Granted, I already have an aftermarket tune on here. Um, it shouldn't take too long. Now, all right, it started, as you see, there's a ton of lights going off, a bunch of alarms, a bunch of, you know, warnings and lights and shit flashing at me. Um, you know, emergency messages over on the center, center screen over there and all that good shit. Don't worry about that at all. Completely normal. Um, it's flashing. Do not unplug it. Do not turn your vehicle off. Um, it's actually flashing pretty goddamn fast. Like when I was flashing the cob off the shelf tune, it took about... I want to say 25 or 30 minutes and this is like just just speeding through the installation all right my engine just made a noise that's good i mean it sounded like the fuel pump or something um so as soon as this is tuned i'm going to go ahead and hook up the gopro and we're going to do a driving vlog my first impressions and we're going to have a pretty decent drive over to uh goodwill i'm going to donate some clothes some toys and blankets that we had laying around our house that we're just not using and you know it'll feel good to donate that all right it's done please turn the ignition to off then turn it to on then immediately press OK to continue.
Now it's going to clear any active trouble codes from your vehicle due to the tune. Change map successful. Please turn off the ignition key for at least 15 seconds before starting the vehicle. So we're going to do that. We're going to let it sit for about 15, 20 seconds. And then I'm going to come back out and we're going to take a little spirited drive over to Goodwill. Peace.